Hi, my name's Eli Yeaman. I'm the head of instruction for the Middle School Jazz Academy here at Jazz at Lincoln Center. So happy you've joined us today, and we're excited to be joined by New Orleans bass clarinetist Evan Christopher. He's going to be showing us how to play on a great New Orleans standard called Careless Love. And uh, let's play a little first, and then sure. we'll talk about it. Evan, that's so wonderful, and there's so many things that you're doing on that horn that make it sound so unique and soulful. Um, I mean, can you tell us uh, just a few things about why you love the clarinet and why you love playing it that way? Like I sometimes tell people, I think of New Orleans as this whole musical world, so I think of the music there as a type of world music, and so it has uh, has it has vocabulary in its own language that 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 give it the give it the feeling of that place. And so it includes, it includes a lot of things, blues elements, it includes playing the instrument the way, um, you know, thinking of the way singers might sing something um, and, and transferring some of those ideas. And then just some different types of embellishments, I guess. How do you sing through your instrument? Can you show us a little of that? Well, um, so singers use vibrato, and the clarinet in classical music doesn't use vibrato, but I think it's nicer. It can really make a warm sound and a lot of different things. And the New Orleans clarinet players, of course, they were hearing everything from opera all the way to street haulers and everything in between. So you can use vibrato like an opera singer. Or like a blues singer. And what are you doing to make that vibrato? Well, you're basically using your jaw to change the pitch of the note, so making it a little bit sharper, a little bit f flatter, somewhere in the scene. It's kind of alternating. So if it was slow, it would be. But when you speed it up, it's. Beautiful, beautiful. What are some of the other things that you were doing on Careless Love just now? I mean, you can't play the melody just the way it's written on the page, or it doesn't sound like very much. Okay. It would actually it would sound like this, really. That's, like gonna, elementary that's school not so something. interesting. Right, right, right. So I like to use uh, pickups to uh, prepare or introduce the phrase of the melody, or sometimes um, maybe responses after the phrase is played uh, to sort of uh, link the phrases together a bit more. What oh. would that sound like? Okay, a little bit like this. Right? Yeah, and I love how you went down to that uh, flat seven right at the right time, too. Well, and that's the thing, because when there's other horns, the clarinet's job is to emphasize some of those pivotal harmonic relationships mm -hmm. uh, around the melody. But if you're the melody instrument, you can kind of do both. Or, but, you know, or you do let the, the accompanist leave room to do that as well. And is that something you have to think a lot about when you're soloing in the context of New Orleans music, leaving space for the other instruments? Well, you know, when I think of soloing in the New Orleans style, it's really a lot about embellishing the melody. So the melody's always there. So, so yeah, I suppose I am thinking about that. Well, what are some other things like, uh, 
I don't know, do you ever find yourself repeating notes or anything like that? Sure, you heard me doing some of that, and it gives it energizes the notes a little bit. The New Orleans style, one of the hallmarks is kind of a nice, uh, an, a nice uh, strong attack. Not a hard attack necessarily, although some players did, but every note has just a little bit of attack, and that's how we make good time. Let's hear some of that. Okay. a lot of blues on that one. Too. Well, sure. I mean, sometimes when you're only playing the same note, it doesn't quite give it enough motion. Mm -hmm. So you use embellishments that are um, not necessarily in the chord, neighbor tones, or a blues inflection. So you kind of you have to combine all the things. You can't just do one of them. And it seems like one of the really important part of playing New Orleans clarinet is when you slide. Is that called portamento? Or something? Well, the Italians would call it portamento, uh -huh. I suppose, and it's uh, you know it's a little bit like things that you might hear on a on a guitar, or things you might hear a singer do. How do you do that? It's a combination of of connecting the notes as they are on the horn in a smooth way, but also manipulating it um, with your with the with the the oral cavity. So you kind of. So it kind of combines the two. Beautiful. And I would imagine the sound you're getting is guiding you exactly how to move your fingers and your oral cavity. Is that right? You're just trying to make a smooth transition between the notes. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're not actually, you, you're not lifting them very much like you would if you were <laughs> That's great. Let's play it again, and maybe you can just throw as much of that stuff at okay. us as you Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Here, we'll start with some nice pickups, and, I'll, and that'll be actually, it's a nice way to give the people with you a, the, the idea of the tempo and the feel. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. 